The Road to the Kentucky Derby Preview Show is brought to you by America's Best Racing, your home for horse racing at www.followhorseracing.com. And by the Horse Racing Radio Network, exclusive radio partner of Kentucky Derby 139. Our coverage begins Saturday, March 30th with the Florida Derby and Louisiana Derby. That's followed on April 6th by the Santa Anita Derby and the Wood Memorial. Then we switch to NBC for the final major preps, the Bluegrass Stakes and Arkansas Derby, all roads leading to Louisville, May 4th. Churchill Downs is truly one of the cathedrals of American horse racing, but over the next three weeks, we'll be taking you to venues and showing you races that have a long and illustrious history of their own. Eleven winners of Aqueduct's Wood Memorial went on to victory in the Kentucky Derby, and four swept the Triple Crown including 1973's Great Secretariat, who actually finished third in the wood, and 1977's all-time Great Seattle Slough. At Gulfstream Park, the Florida Derby is a social event and a key Kentucky Derby prep. The most amazing Florida Derby winner was 1979's Spectacular Bid, who had a comically bad trip yet still won easily. Spectacular bid opening up the lead and drawing away by three. As they move down under the wire, Spectacular bid goes away by five. At Fairgrounds in New Orleans, the 1996 Louisiana Derby went to a familiar name. This is gaining, but Grindstone is pulling away. Grindstone went on to win the Kentucky Derby. Perhaps the best from the Louisiana Derby lost in Kentucky, but Risen Star made amends in the Preakness and Belmont States. Bluegrass Stakes at Keeneland has produced 23 Derby winners. Ali Sheba survived a tough three-horse stretch battle in 1987, only to be disqualified. But nine days later, Ali Sheba won the Derby in an upset. Strike the Gold pulled off the 1991 Bluegrass Derby Double for trainer Nick Zito. Oaklawn Park's Arkansas Derby produced its very first Kentucky Derby winner back in 1983. And under a hand ride, Sonny Taylor will win the Arkansas Derby easily by four lengths. And last year, Bodie Meister romped at Oaklawn and went on to finish second in the Derby and Preakness. Over the years, 16 West Coast three-year-olds have used the Santa Anita Derby as a successful springboard to Kentucky Derby glory. The most famous, the 1978 Triple Crown winner. The big pin Kyaboyd affirmed takes the Santa Anita Derby by eight. Winning colors beat the boys in the 88 Kentucky Derby, but before that, she demolished them at Santa Anita. Winning colors, and the first filly to win the Santa Anita Derby since 1959. And last year, Santa Anita Derby winner went on to Churchill Downs, and of course, he had another. I'll have another, has won the Kentucky Derby! For Racing 101, I'm Joe Christofak. Horse racing is unique in many ways. It's an interactive spectator sport where you're part of the game. Here are some things you should know. Bring cash. You can't bet with a credit or debit card and you don't want to stand in an ATM line. Buy a programmer daily racing form. It's your playbook for the day. Make sure you have a pen, it's always good to write notes, and you'll need to write your wagers down. Learn how to use the self-service betting terminals. No lines, no waiting, and they're a lot easier to use than you think. Explore the track, stake out a home base, inside or out. Visit the paddock, see the horses up close. Go down by the rail for the post parade. Watch a race low level, feel the excitement, and if you really wanna get into the action, bring a pair of binoculars. Most importantly, when you come to the racetrack, don't be afraid to ask questions. With knowledge comes horsepower. For Racing 101, I'm Joe Christofak. 
So now you know what to do when you walk into any racetrack. But to get back here on the first Saturday in May, the horses will now need points. And over the next three weeks, we'll bring you the final six major derby prep races. 100 points each for the winners of the Florida Derby, Louisiana Derby, Wood Memorial, Santa Anita Derby, Bluegrass Stakes, and Arkansas Derby. Thanks for joining us, and don't forget, next week at 6 p.m. Eastern, our road to the Kentucky Derby begins with coverage of the Florida Derby and the Louisiana Derby from what we hope will be sunny Miami. See you then.